Hey, all you rusty freaks. Well, since neither Mr. Flack nor Shadow Frax have done a update, update video, you know, with the exact details, they've both done videos of the going deep update as such, but not the specifics. So this is the budget version that I always do when, well, I try to always do when they don't. And I'm just going to read it out on the fly. It's not scripted, so bear with me if I make some mistakes. It's called the Going Deep Update. It brings procedural underwater labs, submarines, torpedoes, fishing, sharks, spear gun, updated underwater ambience, and much more. This this stuff is really fantastic. Um, pay attention, all you people who keep saying, No, Rust is just a PvP game. <laughs> it so clearly isn't. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, why can't it be both things? Or rather, multiple things? Anyway, I'm not going to read all the stuff that Shadowfrax and Mr. Flack have already covered, and that's these amazing procedurally generated underwater labs. Uh, I'm not really going to discuss the submarine because they've covered that, and I'm not going to discuss the torpedoes because they've covered that, and the amazing... Oh, the radar on the two-man sub, it's fantastic. Fat boy <laughs> goes up to the surface, skinny boy shoots straight. Um, not sure how much they covered the controls, but I think they did cover it. You guys will figure that out. Even the fishing you'll figure out. I'm not going to read it to you. Um, you can check all this stuff on rust.facepunch.com slash blog slash going deep. And the rust changes on the same website. I'm going to go past this. Okay. We've made some changes to the general underwater look and feel. Visibility is going up across the board. Lighting will get darker and deeper the deeper you go. And all in all, it should just be a bit more engaging than the old dive into the water and become blind unless you have some magic goggles equipped. Speaking of goggles, the diving goggle screen overlay also doesn't self-illuminate anymore in darkness which should make them less distracting in low light and finally the wet shore look no longer extends deep down to the ocean which never made any sense in the first place changes are fairly technical so expect to see more improvements underwater as we iterate on them in future cool okay the sharks as, that, as I've, I've read this before basically there's a chance that they'll spawn at any one of the dive sites and uh, you basically got to want to kill it before you start um, exploring it and looting it. Uh, you can use melee, but your chances of survival are very slim. You need some kind of underwater ranged weapon. Dot, dot, dot. Ta-da! They're talking about the spear gun, of course, which is um, craftable at a tier one workbench and um, can be fired underwater and packs a similar punch to a crossbow, albeit with a slower moving projectile. It's also very effective against... Humans. Improvements and fixes. Highlights. Electrical panel UE. The electrical panel now displays in the crafting menu. I thought I did that before. Uh, highlight IO. Left mouse button while hovering. Highlights. Hang on. I'm pretty sure this is already the case, wasn't it? Undo the last by right mouse button click. Pretty sure it did that too. Anyway, ice lakes, fixed ice lakes, never spawning. Mountains, fixed prefab mountains, not spawning on large maps. You can place small signs on, on deployables. So you can put a small sign on a box, like in this little picture here. That is awesome. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, geez. And boombox apparently was decaying, so they fixed that. Underwater crates uh, have been changed from eight, eight seconds to six seconds. I, they should just scrap that. People already were not diving. Why make it even more annoying to dive? Check out the change log for more changes. Underwater rail network side tunnels. I will get to those changes they're talking about here. Okay, so in this update, they've added some further improvements to the underground rail network. Until now, they've been spawning work carts right in front of the rail platforms. However, this has always been a temporary solution. 
and in this update we've added dedicated side tunnels and maintenance rooms where the work carts will spawn from now on. Each station will contain two of these side tunnels. How cool. In order to access these new spawn points, you will need to reach the platform and find one of the door marked with a green maintenance room sign. There it is. Then simply follow the corridor and it will lead you to a brand new room where the work cart will be waiting for you. The train tunnel in front of you will then lead back to the rail network. Very cool. I mean, now people are really going to explore all over the map, I should think. Gravis Island, uh, watch Mr. Flax video, ah, sorry, um, Shadow Frax's video on that. It's pretty cool stuff, but I, I really wish Happus would come back. Okay, the change list. Hang on, is that the same? Yes. All right. Um, it's pretty long, so, no, it's actually, it's not pretty long. All right, I'll read it all. Change list, added procedural underwater labs. We know that. We know submarines, fishing, all that stuff. We just... We just covered all that. Added 32 new prefabs for map markers. Fixed audio level on thrown cassette recorders. Good. Fixed thrown cassette recorders not playing when coming into network range. Fixed wires sometimes not displaying when placed at maximum distance. Oh no! <laughs> that was an exploit we we used to hide them. I mean, to you know, make it not look so messy. Oh well, fixed ice lakes never spawning, fixed prefab mount, we just covered that, F sure witness, fixed a graphics U scale value of 0 0.8 hiding the search text on the crafting screen when at 1080p, turned the exception from failed connect console command into a warning, it now shows up on the blah blah blah, if a player is killed while inside a hurt trigger, e.g. barbed wire, always kills them immediately. Same as if they died by the hurt trigger itself. Fixed swamp fog lit at night from 750 meters. Wow, that's been a long time coming. Fixed pump jack floating decals. Improved loot from small underwater containers. Crates, rather. Yep, that's good. Reduced untie time. We just said that. Can now copy and paste phone numbers from the telephone dialing screen. Good. Added a button to copy the current phone number from the dialing user interface. Wires will now snap to the socket's position. Oh, good. And not surface behind the IO object. Can now left click a filled socket to limit the animation to just that socket. Oh, that's cool. So you know how the, the wires have like this crawling ants animation? Um, so I think you can turn it off by left clicking if I understand what what that means. Can now press right mouse but while placing wires to remove the last place point. Um, I see the difference. Hold right mouse button is to clear the whole line. But now if you just press right mouse button while placing wires, it removes the last placed point. Improve. Yeah, so you, you know if you do sections, if you go from at point A to point B to point C to point D, if you just click it once, it'll just remove the previous point. Improved performance, memory usage, and initial buffering behavior when streaming internet audio, showing IO information in crafting panel, boom boxes connected to the same URL should now play in sync with each other and only use a single web stream. Improved beat detection on the dance floor, sound lights, and laser lights. Yeah, like I'm going to be doing any of that. <laughs> Improved fishing village spawning. More of them on smaller maps. Better coastline coverage. Recycler right-click item transfer now rejects items that can't be recycled. Doesn't move them to the input. Cool. Right-click moving items to recycler now stops once the input slots are full. Doesn't start filling output slots. Oh, that's cool. Made it easier to jump into the underground rail platforms while standing on the train tracks. Improved swamp fog vis visually. Toned down CCTV blur. Oh, that's great. Yeah, when you use those monitoring stations, it, it was really hard to see anything. Reduced hurt co cold hot overlay. Oh, that's good. You know that fuzzy crap around the edge of the screen? That was in the last update. It was really high. 
Um, do Lux Xmas lights now allow pass through? Small sign can now be placed on deployables. Yeah, guys, this is going to be a real fun update. I, I'd, be, I'd be curious to see how many people now do a lot, spend a lot of their time in the um, in the ocean. So, guys, if any of this helped you out, consider helping me out. Smash like, subscribe to my channel. 85% of you are not subscribed. Please help me out. Help me get to that thousand mark so I can put links on my videos and so on. Um, yeah, life isn't easy for me. I've got a lot of medical expenses. I can only work part-time, so think about becoming a Patreon supporter. You can pledge one dollar, two, three, even five bucks. It's just a few cents a week. Anyway, this has gone on for long enough. Peace, love, and mung beans. Pack us out.